Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 as King Benjen Stark Targaryen of the Iron Throne and we're still in our war against House Targaryen and the Vale as well. Um, a few things have happened. The Ironborn have engaged, have been chasing the retreating Stormlander army here and uh, so Torrin Botley was killed in personal combat by Maegor. Very unfortunate because he was the one leading the assault of, Storm, uh, of Storm's End and he was successful in capturing the castle. So, uh, yeah, that is sad. Uh, we also have some new 4,000 men that have just landed King's Landing and now moving south. And uh, so we'll see what happens to them. Uh, anyone else died in this battle? No, I don't think so. So I made my way uh, over to Rain House. So we'll siege another Targaryen stronghold here. And we are about to engage uh, Lord Jack and Grifton. Though, I do wonder... Hold on. Do we maybe not have to take River Crossing? Honeyhold, Black Crown, and Bandalon. So, uplands would be fine. We'll go to the uplands and attack from there, uh, just because there's no river there. So that will make it a little bit easier. We have gained strength while walking through the reach, which is really good. So more men have uh, joined our forces. We started with like 7,000, now we're at 9,000. So I'm pretty confident we should kill them. Other than that, uh, yeah, things are looking good. We have now uh, Donner Stark, my nephew, uh, helping us in the war against uh, Jack and the One-Eyed. So that's very good. Um, now, this is going to be over soon. Yep. And, oh, look at that. Torrent Square, Runestone. I also made Alan, my captain of the House of God, I made him my commander. He's exceptional and a good flanker and defender. So he will help us in this and lead us to victory. Ganna Lannister. Janna Lannister has died. Uh, well, there's enough Lannisters around, so I'm not too concerned. Gone Hill is uh, Black Brother, right? I remember that. And we quickly need to siege this down. It shouldn't take too long, really. And it doesn't. Okay, come on. We'll just siege everything down. That might even be enough war score. I don't know. Okay, this battle's gonna happen as well. We definitely need to keep an eye on that. Um, we're at 86%. Okay. We can imprison... Oh, no, he's... He, we just let him rot. 88%. 90%. Okay. All right. Well, we'll first watch this battle, though. So, he is engaging Tom and Willem. Hopefully, no one's going to die. No, it looks pretty good. Okay. No one has died so far in this fight. Nice. Okay. Now, we have captured some Septon that will be immediately imprisoned. And we'll retake Old Town. And that might even be enough. No, that's not quite enough war score. Uh, Alright, fine. Uh, we just need to make sure... This can no longer be sieged. So yeah, we need to make sure that we... I don't know. What are we going to go for now? Mistwood? Maybe? Lord Renly Mertens? Broad Arch. It's interesting to see that House Seaworth has not joined against us. Hmm. Maybe House Swan can be spared. They have a member of the King's Guard who didn't betray me. Alright, we'll go... Hmm. Any house that I don't like particularly. House Tarth? Hmm. It's hard to say. I think we'll just move on. How's Morgan, maybe? Potting field. Ah, you know what? Just move on. Who's willing this? How's Gower? Alright, just move on. And we'll let you rot. And someone tries to kill someone else? That's fine. By me. And you need to retake Old Town. Shouldn't be too difficult. Very nice. 82%. So I think it should be too difficult for us to win this now. Who are you fighting? What's going on here? Someone besieging that. Alright, so we'll have to make our way back. We'll make our way probably here. Um, the Dornish are besieging Dragonstone. Uh, I dislike that quite a bit. In fact, I think what we'll have to do is maybe attack Will here. Uh, I mean, then again, it really depends on what what you guys do. You know what? We'll just go to Mistwood and besiege that. Uh, and we'll just... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just finish the war by, uh, you know, attacking Stormlander Holdings. Because walking around is just going to cause us to uh, to lose men to attrition, and so on and so forth. So yeah, I think we'll just uh, try and end it here as soon as possible. Yeah, 2%. Come on, 90, 95. Alright, 95%. That didn't really do much. Uh, the Weeping Town would maybe be useful. Alright, let's siege that down. 14, wow, we left 3,000 men in these assaults. That's pretty impressive. Um... And Alaric of Massey's Hook can be discouraged. We'll ask politely and see what he says. And there is a war 
for the reach. Oh, that's not looking too good. Yeah, you... I mean, you've got 15,000 men, but I don't know. Oh, look at this. Elaria Tyrell, my courier, is actually... Interestingly enough, the heir to the reach. Well, let's certainly plan a baby in her belly. I can't marry anyone still, because I'm still widowed. Uh, I don't know, our chase had ended previously, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but I definitely will go back to actually destroy your forces here. Don't know why, they, why they've why they stopped. Okay, come on. Three more days to attack this. That's 98%. Not sure if the Sept will actually make a difference, but we'll destroy these 500 men. Rylene Baratheon has died in childbirth. So she's given birth, birth to Theoden Redwolf. So that actually, you know, that, that gives... That's kind of a problem, because... The, the Stormlands... Oh, they have... Wait, what? They have many claimants. Oh, wow. Alright. Well, apparently they have Donald Peasbury. Interestingly. They're all Faith of the Seven. So, you know. But that is interesting. Michelle of Old Town. She has quite a lot of claims. Hmm. Della? Of the Stormlands, that would. Bedwick Targaryen. Then we've got Shara. She's married to Quarries. Magor. He wants to uh, rule the Iron Throne. Donald Peasbury. Why Donald Peasbury? Why does he have a claim? His father was. I don't. I don't get why. Donald Peasbury has a claim to the Stormlands. Corena Peasbury is married to a Toland. Huh. That's odd. That is very odd. Alright, well, we'll finish off this war. This should be over soon. This battle is going to be over very soon as well. Now, I sent Ariella a beautiful necklace, covered her room with wildflowers. So I found my bed full of wilted petals. And this is what I don't get. The bent rusty nail. I'm irresistible. But I've changed my mind. Why would I change my mind? I don't change my mind. I want her. So that's odd. I don't know what this is all about, to be quite honest. Okay, there's another big battle going on. Um, but perhaps we can finish the war before that. Leona Sunderland is not her fault. Yeah, certainly not. And who's this? Perianth. Okay, why are all of these people? That lowers my fear quite a bit. I don't want to imprison all the Sunderlands. What the fuck? <sighs> what is the Night's Watch doing now? They're defending... Okay, you know what? I'll help them out. Because... Oh, wait. Why are we at 100% all of a sudden? War score from battles. Oh, that battle was enough. I see. So we're at 100%. Just fighting battles here. All right, very good. You will be imprisoned then. And uh, you will have to give up quite a, quite a lot of your lands. Certainly. Okay, so. Now, that means I will send you back to Summer Hall. And you are going to have to give up quite a lot of lands. Certainly. But yeah, let's maybe finish this other war as well. Now, he will forfeit the veil. Um, that's for sure. No doubt about that. And I will probably revoke... Some lands. I will revoke the Eerie as well. Yes. And I will probably revoke the Giant's lands. I can't do that. Okay, well, I have the Eerie. So that can be given to someone else. And I'm thinking about giving it to Lord Robert Aaron of Middle Point. He is excommunicated. It's very difficult to find anyone uh, worthy. Now, if we have a quick look at the King of the Vale and the various claimants. Ah, well. Now, let's check out the Eerie then. That's a little bit easier, maybe. There were many more claimants beforehand. That's a little bit bugged. But I was checking claimants before. And we are not going to be merciful about that. You will be in the oubliette. Because you are just... You are zealous. And this is twice that you've risen up. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be particularly nice. These 9,000 Ironborn are likely to be destroyed. I can't see them win this fight. Lord Hugh of Honeyhold was slain. By Imri Tyrell. Okay. Well, Imri is 
a giant of a man and a skilled fighter at that. Um, he should actually be much better. But I guess his cancer is uh, stopping him from being really strong. Anyway, can we please, come on, just finish off this. Finish this siege. And that's 100%. Very good. Before the Iron Beyond are completely destroyed, we'll uh, send this peace offer. And Megor has been imprisoned. And did we immediately usurp titles? Oh, we did. Asapo and Yunkai has immediately been usurped for some odd reason. Okay, not sure why. High Lodge of Astapo can be usurped. Alright, well, it can be usurped. Sure. We'll do that. From the Celtica. They're not supposed to have that. She's very upset. But that's fine. Okay, now, what does that all mean? What is happening to Dawn? Yeah, we'll have to see what happens with Dawn. Now, you will be... You'll stay where you are. Until next time. So, we're not going to talk about the fact that Dawn rose up? Really? Um, okay. Well, that means I'm going to stand out my forces. And we'll definitely have to distribute some lands. Now, we have... Master of Coin, go ahead, collect some taxes. You can organize the army. That would be useful. And what am I going to do? John Sunderland. Now, he is a Sisterman. I hold the Eerie. Who, who has claims to the Eerie? Okay, so there are a few more people now. All right, good. Now, we've got Harding Women. There is one old god, Horfrost. But he is heir to the High Lodge of the Hornvale. So he isn't exactly a great pick. Don't know how he got that claim. Oh, through his uh, mother, probably. So, I could make him the Lord of the Eerie. But the problem is, I mean, he would inherit lands in the West. And that would just cause border gore, which I hate. I really dislike that. Cersei is married to Stark, by the way. So, who else have we got? Robert Aaron. Now, he is direct descendant of Lord Robert Aaron. The Robert Aaron. Sweet Robin. So, I feel like he's probably has the best claim. Um, his brother died. He's... It's just that, you know, he's bad, though. Maybe his, Sir, maybe his son. Maybe Sir Jack and Aaron. But he's zealot. Delina Aaron. Eustache Aaron. Can I assign a guardian here? How about uh, how about I educate that child? Needs to be six years old. How about her? How about she is educated by me? Nah, he won't do it. Hmm. Shall I, Aaron of Moon's Gray? She's also direct descendant. Hmm. Ah, it's difficult. It's difficult to find. But, okay. In the meantime, let's talk about what I can do to you. You need to... I need to revoke your stuff, dude. Um, Probably can't revoke because we haven't done a crash impact, right? Yeah. So, we'll break that. That will make me... Wow. That is fucked up. <laughs> so, because he rose up against me... I get the non-aggression pack breaker. Well, we'll do it though. Because I'm going to revoke your stuff. That's for sure. The Stormlands. Well, let's first of all get Storm's End. And I will revoke the Stormlands. Oh, that makes people so pissed off. Can't do it. Alright, well we have Storm's End at least. Not sure what I will do with it. I'll probably hold on to it for a while. And um, but definitely to give out the Eerie. High Lord Chop of Astapur. That would be could be given to any to somebody. Maybe you. Some I just, I, I don't want to give it to any one of you, but I don't want to keep it either. Although I guess I could. I guess I could. I, I guess I'll hold on to it. So we've got Yunkai. Definitely the veil needs to be given out. Alright, so I'll have to think about this a little bit. Because I'm not sure who I'm going to give this to. I will I will think of something. And once I have found uh, people to give these, these promises to, I'll cut right back.
I spent quite some time uh, considering who I will give our newly acquired titles to, and I must honestly admit, I have not really come to a conclusion. Um, so, what I think is most important to Benjen here is religion, simply because he's zealous. Nothing else really, you know, really shows what he would give or whom he would give titles to other than, you know, his zealousness. So it has to be all God's characters. Now, it says right here, if we read this, it says it very harshly. This character burns with religious fervor and cannot tolerate heretics, infidels, or heathens. Now, there is quite a lot of infidels, heretics, and heathens in our lands. It's, it's impossible for us to remove all of them. And it's a bit stupid to think anyone would try. Um... So, we certainly have to tolerate some of them, but I don't think that we would actually give lands to them. So, therefore, the most important thing that we do is give lands to people that are following the old gods. One thing that is a major flaw in, the, in this mod is that you do not have the option to ask your lords to, or courtiers or anyone, to, to actively uh, convert to your religion. Because that would make sense. I could give it to one of the Vale Lords, for example, and just ask them to convert to the old gods and everything would be fine. Uh, but that's not an option in the mod. So, uh, then I've realized, you know what, we're also shockingly lazy. So therefore, I shouldn't think about this too long. I should look at one person that is that fits the description and that one gets it. So, therefore, we'll have a look at the claimants here. Uh, there's only one old gods person. It's a six-year-old boy uh, who's going to cause some trouble between the Vale and the West. But that's just the way it is. So, we're going to give him the Lordship of the Eerie. And, um, yeah, now that he's Lord of the Eerie, I will grant him... Probably the Kingdom of the Eerie, but we'll hold off a little bit because there's a few more things I want to do. Now, there's uh, various people I can imprison. One of them I already imprisoned. That is uh, Lord Eric Faring of Faring Cross. I will revoke his title um, because I mean to give this to Callan. He managed to kill a Dragon Rider, which is pretty impressive. And therefore, um, well, <laughs> I, I think he deserves some titles. So, first of all, let's go for the minor titles. Um, we will resign you as commander. Uh, can I do that? I can't resign him as commander of go cloaks. That's strange. Um, but I can grant you. Hmm. All right, that's odd. Um, all right, that's fine. Then we also have got to deal with this person here. Now, I am now able to revoke the Stormlands. I wasn't able to do that before, but I can do it now. So let's go ahead. Um, and he still holds Pentas, obviously. Can I also revoke Shipbreaker Bay? No, I cannot. But I will definitely... Oh, I was thinking I could do that. Revoke your royal style. Uh, that's no longer possible. All right. Well, in that case, I will probably give... Nope, that's the wrong person. Eh. I want to give my uncle Gren. Since he is following the old gods, uh, I will give him Storm's End and the Stormlands. Uh, I was thinking about giving it to House Wensington, but they are no longer landed here. And then I was thinking about giving it to House Balling, because they are a cadet branch of the Baratheons, right? Uh, now, the last Baratheons, uh, the House Baratheon has died off. The last... Uh, remaining Baratheons on the wall right now, and um, the Baratheon descendants, for example, uh, Theod and Redwolf, I could give it to, but he's literally zero years old, so I just doubt I will do that. Um, so, yeah, there is not really, there's not really much I can do. How's Redwolf? Actually, are you? This looks like incest to me. Who incested here? That's odd. Why is, oh, that's Edric and Shireen. I, I get it. Okay. So yeah, this guy's on the wall. This guy just died. She's married to uh, the Red Wolf. I could give it to Theoden. But I think I won't. Oh my god. This is so troublesome. It just takes ages. I think I'm just gonna have to make a decision because uh, this is just too difficult. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to give... Oh, damn it. I clicked wrong again. I'm going to give Gran uh, the uh, Lordship of Storm's End. And he shall also be given the Kingdom of the Stormlands. There you go. You're my Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. Enjoy. Very good. Now, um, with that done, I will also have to go ahead and imprison Rhaegar as he has uh, risen up against me. 66% chance. Very good. And we will also revoke Lordship of Summerhall. And since you're a traitor, that's fine. Now, I also hold Faring Cross that I want to give out. And... Yeah, we have the, uh, we have the, um, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I just have to give it to you. We'll grant you the land of title, the kingdom of the Vale. There you go. Enjoy. So, um, Horfrost, very good. I have very small people that I can imprison. We have Lorne of the West, uh, Kalan of King's Landing, and Alaric of Massey Hook. Don't think any one of them I want to imprison particularly, so that's fine. We'll keep it like that. Anyone else that I particularly care about, I do not. So, all we got to talk about now is that you are important there you go and then we got to check out who we have in our dungeons because there's quite a few people here now you i cannot revoke titles from you so i think we'll just leave you imprisoned and um, then who else we've got so many people rhaegar rhaegar stonekeep lynn septon i think we'll just leave you all imprisoned i don't think we'll do anything else we can go ahead and yeah I guess you're doing fine. Um, Commissioner Sepulcher, any of that? Don't think we will do that. So, yeah. Oh my god. This is, the, like, this is the, the worst. I've, it was never that bad. I never had so few options to give titles to. Um, but yeah, I, I guess we'll move forward. I'm currently... I want to actually stop seducing her, actually. Um, and Serenly... My half-brother and my uncle both are not following the right religion, so I don't care. We'll let you all rot, and you can all stay where you are. I do want to do a few other things. What about Callan now? Can I... Why can I not make him resign? That is very frustrating. Yeah. Alright, I grant you the title of Faring Cross. There you go. Can I now make you resign? No. So, you are now going to hold, what, both? Uh, who is heir to King's Landing? Uh, okay, that should be able... I should be able to give it out to someone else. But yeah, you are now... It says Lord Master of Faring Cross. Uh, you still are not... Okay, a raise it to nobility. There you go. Um, good, good name. Alright, yeah, my kin is unhappy. That's fine. I don't want to give them lands anyways. So, we cannot marry. So, that means we definitely need to go ahead and employ a new courier. Uh, a young lady, Eliana, looks good, excellent, and we will try and seduce her immediately, because we need some kids, because right now we don't have an heir, we're 35 years old, we are disfigured, so it's looking bad, um, I think we'll also cancel this ambition to become a paragon of virtue, and instead, um, well, a son would be good, but apparently that's not possible, spanning around by conquest, making the eight, building a war chest, falling in love, I mean, I guess we'll go for it. Uh, a thousand piety is what we need. Alright, I guess we'll keep it. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to check what kind of options we have. We need a new commander. And all kinds of other titles need to be given out. And, yeah. I mean, obviously, we now control various provinces in, in Essos. We are now uh, king of Astapo, Yunkai, and even high lord of Astapo. Um, so, I'll, I'll just hold on to that because it doesn't, you know, harm anyone at the moment. You are an important character, and I would love to... Well, am I going to award you with the Warden of the East? I don't know. I think Pip, I will have to transfer Vassalage here. House... Yeah, the Claw Isle is not under you. Go for that. And I think Pip, I... I cannot make you Warden of the West. You used to be able to give out these titles to anyone. Now you don't really have much option um, to, to give it to, which is also quite sad. Um, so, Warden of the East, I can only pick him, so I will. Uh, Capera, North, East, West, okay, that's all fine. Hayamana, I was thinking about Hayamana, I don't have a wife, right, so that's problematic. Master of Hunt should be Lauren. I'll make him Master of Hunt, and Master of Horse shall be Gren, my uncle. Hayamana, hmm, anyone? Child, my my lord command of the king's guard. Sure, why not? Go ahead. And that is fine. I, I think this is fine. And then we need a new commander. Uh, well, Lauren of the West. Enjoy that position. So, we do not have an heir. We cannot marry. Uh, but we might be able to produce a bastard here. That will be at least somewhat good. And there is a war to overthrow the monarchy in Pentos. So, yeah, Mago is not doing particularly fine. 
I could obviously go ahead and uh, ransom people or, or do whatever, but I think we are simply too lazy to do any of this. Um, how about Jack and call them for trial? Don't think I will do any of that, so you'll just stay imprisoned. And we need a new priest and advisor. So let's get a priest first. Tom and Willem. Yeah, not really good, but good enough, maybe. And I also need to appoint some advisor. Gren, you are not on the council. Neither is Pip. Mm, I think Pip is a little bit better than you, so I'll pick you as an advisor. Thank you. And there we go. Yeah, vassals have been raised too long, or vassal levies have been raised too long. And we also need to command to end wars. So, for example, the Lady of the Red Lake, you should end your war. Thank you very much. She won't do it, probably, but nah, we'll see. And um, we hold Summer Hall, King's Landing. I think this is fine. This is not exactly perfect. And this war ended very good. So we have uh, secured the reach here. Awesome. Now we just got to make some babies. Um, and yeah. And so on and so forth. We can go for the High Lordship of Nath. Uh-huh. Why would I do that? This is... This is Miss Sande's father? No, this is a different Miss Sande. Alright, whatever. So, the realm is looking alright, I would say. There's going to be some friction between the Vale and the Westerlands at some point, which, you know, there's not really much I can do about. Um, but, yeah. Uh, well, that's that. Um, there is all kinds of plots. Fabricate of... The Iron Island streets, and I think the Iron Isles helped us, so I'm not going to do that. Even though they are, they are a terrible, uh, terrible Ironborn Drowned God, but I feel like because they helped us, we will overlook their uh, religion, at least for a little bit. Um, so that's fine. Yeah, so I think we're set up pretty well. We have the realm once again under control. There is, a, yeah, the House Stark Targaryen now ruling the Stormlands because House, well, House Baratheon has died off. And um, House Targaryen should no longer rule. Queen Rhaenyra. Wow, she looks nice. She looks like she has that that crown. Now, you have the royal privilege. I think that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll let you have it. But Maegor certainly shouldn't have it. And I don't think he does. Don't think he does. Okay, good. I could also ex execute him. I guess I won't do that. You are Prince of Pentas. Alright, yeah, enjoy. So the Targaryens are now basically exiled. Awesome. Alright, on that note, I think I'll just end the episode because, uh, wow, this took way too long to assign these titles. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And yeah, I'll be back next time.